when I realized that the kinds of digital intelligences we're making have something that makes them far superior to the kind of biological intelligence we have. If I want to share information with you, so I go off and I learn something, mm. and I'd like to tell you what I learned. So I produce some sentences. This is a rather simplistic model, but roughly right. Your brain is trying to figure out, how can I change the strengths of connections between neurons so I might have put that word next? And so you'll do a lot of learning when a very surprising word comes, and not much learning when, if it's a, when it's a very obvious word. If I say fish and chips, you don't do much learning when I say chips. But if I say fish and cucumber, you do a lot more learning. You wonder, why did I say cucumber? So that's roughly what's going on in your brain. I'm predicting what's coming next. That's how we think it's working. Nobody really knows for sure how the brain works. And nobody knows how it gets the information about whether you should increase the strength of a connection or decrease the strength of a connection. That's the crucial thing. But what we do know now from AI is that if you could get information about whether to increase or decrease the connection strength so as to do better at whatever task you're trying to do, then we could learn incredible things because that's what we're doing now with artificial neural nets.